Welcome back to the show, everyone. What a pleasure to see our next guest. He is a very, very busy man. Four restaurants, a gourmet food business, catering, cookbook author, and a couple of TV shows that you'd be familiar Why with not? as well. So of course, oh. he has time for our Halloween nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> Mark McEwen right. is joining us now. He's got a brand new Welcome. cookbook. Welcome. Good to be here. I'm, I'm the straight guy today. You yeah, that's, are. Yeah. <laughs> that's a really hard act to follow. I know. Oh, Mark, oh, Mark, you have to tell us about your fabulous new cookbook. Because I, I do find with a lot of cookbooks, Italian recipes are often made so complicated and they shouldn't be. Right. No, Italian cooking to me is, is about simple ingredients, simple preparation. So the book was there to sort of demystify the Italian kitchen. Yeah. I want it to be your go-to Bible for sort of regional Italian. Uh, the, the, the dish we're doing today is a ricotta lemon gnocchi with a fresh tomato sauce, an heirloom mm. tomato sauce. As a chef, uh, can you have a, a, a sort of favorite region and a, a favorite style of cooking? Is that all right? Because you have to be really versatile, right? Well, I, I think you should focus. I don't, I don't believe when a chef tells me he does he or she does everything well. I, I think you should do a few things and you twist it, but the Italian kitchen to me is one you don't mess with. Yeah. Uh, they know I, what I, they're doing. I, I think <laughs> if, you, if you speak to, if you have, I'm not Italian, yeah. Scottish, American, Canadian. No, no, I'm no. An, I'm, an, I'm an imposter, <laughs> so I can't say that I talk to my Nona, but if, but if you have a Nona and you speak to her, she doesn't want you messing up her recipe. No, you never yeah. do. Now, Anna, you've kept it really simple here. Catch us up on what you've been doing in the pan there. So this is an heirloom tomato sauce. So. In the middle of summer when you have all those beautiful varietal tomatoes, yellow, orange, red, ruby red, different ones, I blanch them, peel them, core them, chop them, and I make an eight minute tomato sauce. It's olive oil, onions, garlic, tomatoes, nice. white wine, cook, blitz, done. Easy so, peasy. And that'll get you through the winter. So right easy, now, easy and peasy. good quality olive oil is always uh, such a key ingredient too. Yeah, you don't have to go crazy, but if you have a good bottle of olive oil, $20, $25 in that range, yeah. it works really well. But for this, you use a less expensive olive oil. You, you use your good olive oil for finishing, which you put a little the dressing flavor. on the top. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, it's for cooking. You know, when we first saw your book, uh, and, and we should say it's a huge compliment that we <laughs> brought you on, well, we're in full costume and everything else, but I just thought, where do you get the time, man? Two TV shows, four restaurants. Uh, this is your second book. I mean, honestly, how important is time management in your life? Well, Jacob Richley did all the copywriting, and Andrew Ellerby, who's my executive chef, did most of the recipe testing and work in the kitchen. I would oversee it, but... I have 440 employees now, and oh. really good ones. So that's the key. So we have a lot of fun. You know, we, we cook, we feed people on a bunch yeah. of levels, uh, but we still love the food. So we, we do the food every day. And of course, uh, Top Chef Canada, such a huge success. Huge. And Dale McKay happened yeah, to home, win. hometown boy. And you got to go to Ensemble last night. What are your thoughts on his precious food? <laughs> <laughs> careful, I'm careful. I'm kidding, Dale, I, I'm kidding. I, I think I did make that comment to Dale more than, more than once. <laughs> More than once, and, and I meant it in a very nice way. Yeah. Uh, but his restaurant is fantastic. I think he's doing really well. His restaurant. Okay, what have we done? What have we done? So I've added, I've made ricotta gnocchi with lemon. Uh, and we've ricotta added, is nice and light too. These are the lightest gnocchi you'll yeah. ever eat. We're going to mix that with burrata cheese, fresh basil, a little uh, rasping of parmesan, a little drizzle of olive oil, and that'll be it. Can we put the zombie on the parmesan? Yeah, yeah, the zombie on the parmesan. <laughs> Just a little shaving of zombie. Uh, how much fun is it? To, I mean, Top Chef, obviously, all these different things you do, but to, to sort of really get down and, and see where the talent in Canada lays, because this is an emerging uh, food market, and, and it's an emerging business in many ways in Canada. Well, I, I think the food scene in Canada is, is really wonderful, and, and, and situations like Top Chef sort of accelerate the whole process of thinking about food and yeah. the restaurants and the origin of food. Well, it's an inspiration for anyone that watches, right? I have eight-year-olds that follow it, 15-year-olds, 65-year-olds. Yeah. I have truck drivers hanging out of windows giving me the, the, the go-to <laughs> because awesome. I like the show. So it sort of connects on a broad level, which is, which is wonderful. And it's about food, and it's about the origin of food, and yeah. it's, yeah. About, it's about good food. Yeah. Now, handmade gnocchi, that is something that I have never attempted. I've done the pasta, but is gnocchi really hard to make? Gnocchi is not. It's it's ricotta cheese that's been drained. Are you sure, it's Mark? Egg. I, you said it with a smirk. <laughs> I've heard it's not it's that hard. hard. <laughs> it's it's egg, flour, salt, pepper, nutmeg, and you you're blending it together to a dough. Then so you roll how do you the get dough that out and cut it. Texture. You just don't overwork it. All right. Don't add too much flour. That's the key. Don't is do too key. much. So what we're doing with this dish? This is very simple. So we've made that that eight minute tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. We have the ricotta gnocchi with a hint of lemon in it. Yeah. We're just going to put a little bit of burrata. Now, burrata is a buffalo mozzarella mm -hmm. that has been laden with pieces of buffalo mozzarella oh mixed my. with cream and oh then my. tied and hung. Oh my. And it's, it's tied and hung so that it'll drain. Well, it gets creamier. It gets yeah. this beautiful creamy center. So we're just going to add that to okay. it. We're going to tear a little bit of fresh basil 
And this is my favorite, favorite. And the basil flavor is so delicious. It's so simple. And you just want that cheese to melt a little bit. I know, I know. <laughs> you can tell Forbes. What continues to inspire you, Mark? I mean, what sort of drives you? Is it, is it the business side of it? Do you really enjoy that? Or well, I, like, I like both. I, I, I love creating a business, sitting back and, and putting a crew together and then watching it operate. Yeah. It's, it's very exciting. Because mm -hmm. there is a huge aspect of the industry that people sometimes forget. You know, I mean, obviously there's the food and everything else, yeah. but you know, there's a really fascinating business aspect to, to putting it all together and making it work. Well, it? we're a big little business now. We, we have a lot of employees. We, we do, a, you know, compared to what I had 10 years ago, yeah. Yeah. My, my business has grown exponentially. Exponentially, yeah. So it, it's, it's very interesting where you find yourself. And I love that you finish it with the olive oil too, because that just gives it an extra layer of the flavor. See, this exactly. is where it all goes. There this we is, go. <laughs> this is and where then the... just just put a little bit of a little bit more of the burrata on. So this this recipe just embodies what the book is all about. Mm. Yeah, it's it's a concise recipe that will walk you through ricotta gnocchi. You'll be able to achieve it. They might not be I'm perfect still a the first scared. time, I'm yeah. try. but the but second time, I think you'll nail them. And once you master a simple tomato sauce like that, easy peasy, you don't have time to cook. Oh, you yeah. just throw it together. And when you go to the store. Uh, Talk to your vegetable guy and find all the heirloom tomatoes of different colors. You gotta get the good ones. And don't even buy the beautiful ones. Buy the ones that are a little, yeah. little bruise on the side. Yeah, that's all you'll, right. you'll get them for half price. Take them home, blanch them, core yeah. them, peel them. You'll make a wicked sauce. All right. Egg. And you'll love that in December. I, uh, I'll let you know. Yeah. 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 Again. Definitely pick up uh, this cookbook, an amazing uh, collection of simple Italian recipes. And tonight, October 31st, Halloween, of course, Barbara Joe's uh, Books to Cook, 6 o'clock. You can meet Mark. Uh, the cost is 50 bucks. You can uh, get the information on the website. And includes a signed copy of Mark's book, uh, Fabrica, as well. And you can meet Mark at Chin Chin Tuesday, November 1st, 6.30. Uh, this is great. It includes reception, food, wine, four course dinner and of course a signed copy of the book as well and what a thank perfect you so setting. Much. That's a good Happy price. Halloween. Pleasure. Thank, thank, thank you very much. We're thank you. Take thank a quick you. break. We'll be back with more right after this. Don't go away. See it was a Halloween cooking thing. We've got See? the pumpkin. Right <laughs> right okay there. now I have to try. No.